Okay, I don't know how to start this video. You say, hello, I'm Will, and this is Romina. Okay, hi, I'm Romina, this is Will. Hi. My playlist live, and I got talking to her over the internet and such, and I was like, you know what? I'll shoot a video of Playlist Live. I'll actually do a proper fucking video of Playlist Live. So we sat down, we did a video on her channel, which I'll annotate here if you're on a computer. If not, link in the description. Where we did a little like talk about Irish slang and American slang and stuff, and it was really fun. Yep. There's also a terrifying bird off to the right, which you probably won't be able to see, but I was terrified. Yeah, so we were, <laughs> we were just gonna have a chat about the differences between like, Amer what, like people in America and people in Ireland. Like the example I always use is people in Ireland are way more likely to say thank you to the bus driver when they get off. So we're here, it's just kind of like you did your job, keep it up sort of thing. Not even keep it up. Keep it up. But when, like, whenever no, I, no words of encouragement yeah, whatsoever. Just like whenever I say thank you to a bus driver here, they're always like, oh, it was no problem at all. That's like, okay, rather than like, yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of like a education, I guess, or like manners how, type how of thing. How you were raised. Yeah, of. because like I say, thank you every time I get any on any kind of public transportation but you are right in that like usually here when you say thank you like somebody says like oh it's not a problem or like no 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 don't don't even worry yeah, about it I or, think people yeah. here are more receptive to thank the word thank you back at home it's like like when you when you say thank you to a bus driver just go uh, or like see <laughs> where they like they don't care that you just said thank you we're here they're like oh well it actually wasn't any problem yeah it's like oh I'll remember that you know for future <laughs> reference it's no problem do you tip in Tipping. when you go to restaurants and only if the service was like actually above average like a, not even above average but like really good like handing you food and like golden well and then being like platters. we care about you so much <laughs> where here it's like someone could be like here's a meal here's your coffee your drink or whatever and then right. yeah i think here there's kind of like this well you should always tip Kind yeah, of thing. where it's like and even if it's bad service, like oh well, then yeah. just don't tip as much. I'm kind of like that way where it's like, well, if I go to a place and I was treated badly, then I'm not gonna leave tip. But a lot of people see that as a bad thing. Well, so, I mean, I understand the incentive behind the tipping here. Also, helicopters. I'm gonna find out who that is and complain. Mm -hmm. Right down his license plate. Like I understand the incentive behind tipping. Like it'll make you work harder because you want your tip, so you'll give mm -hmm. a better service, and you're willing to. People are willing to pay for better service. But it's kind of become this thing now where it's like, well, that's the only money they get, so you have to tip, even if it was bad service. And it's, I think that whole incentive is kind of lost now. Hmm. It's, it's not such a thing in Ireland, yeah. tipping. I think, I think that tipping, at least in America, I think that it came from the um, depression. It was like, I think it was businesses just couldn't pay their employees as much. So and so really the people who it, could like... help, like they would, give them tips to kind of help them along. And then that passed and then the custom sort of Stuck. stayed. But isn't it like but servers and stuff don't just don't get paid here? Right. Tips or something? Depends on the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe it's just Florida. Driving is a much more aggressive sport here. <laughs> like, and I don't mean as in like NASCAR, I mean like on the normal roads. It's just, it's really just like, I'm gonna send my car this way and that way. There are rules, that's funny. <laughs> um, me and Ronan rented a car for the first couple of days we were in Florida. And oh my God, we nearly died like six times. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it wasn't our fault. It was just like driving along, it's like, like looking out to your right and it's like, that guy looks very close. He makes eye contact <laughs> and just proceeds to try and ram you off the road, presuming you'll slow down or whatever. But we were like, ah. So I'm, I'm actually originally from Florida. Like okay. I was born oh, and yeah. raised here. And the driving is quite aggressive and horrible here. In Florida specifically, like? Well, I'm from Miami. That's my knowledge is from there. Now that I live in Los Angeles, I find that over there, people kind of follow the, the laws of the road, like, to a T. And driving in LA is a lot less scary than driving in Florida. Like, yeah. That's mad. I think so. On a side topic, it's hot as balls here. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm in a hat and off camera. That's one of the differences, at least from Florida and Ireland. Is yeah, oh my God, it's <laughs> such a, a huge difference. <laughs> like, even we'd be in the room and we're turning the thermostat all the way down, and like all the other people who are used to the heat in the room are like, well, it's so cold in here. And we're like, <sighs> it's not cold enough. Um, actually, funny story. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, tell a story on your channel here. Um, so um, now that this is my channel, <laughs> I, since I did grow up in Florida, I was tan, I was really dark. And on top of that, my hair, because of the humidity here, my hair was always like this all of the time. And I, know that feeling. I, I just always thought that was the way that I looked and the way that I was born. I thought I had frizzy hair and semi darkish skin. And then I moved to Los Angeles 
and then within a within a week it was like my hair like going out of the shower it was just like (laughs) you know and i lost my tan and now you can see like i'm i'm white and so it was like i would would class you as pretty tan do you see that that's my tan line but these are my very vaguely like i'm like this is from this is from november this tan because I was in Africa for two weeks and I did not bring sun we- sunblock so I got very dark so this is actually me tanned from you're Africa. from Africa I, no I didn't mean you are from I'm Africa from I said Af- you're okay I mean I'm not from Africa. Africa I mean that would be cool maybe if I was from Africa <laughs> that's that wrong with Africans cool. who said there was anything wrong with I that I thought you Why were you implying I thought you were no, a huge racist impli- and this got awkward I quick. said that it would be cool if I was from Africa instead of from Florida. You're like, oh yeah, I'm from Florida. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. But you're I mean, like, oh, I'm from Africa. And I was like, wow, cool. Like, do you see like zebras when you go out? You know, I don't know. That I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> were we talking about like Ireland? I don't know. Yeah, we were talking uh, about America. It got really awkward. You have a crazy amount of candy and stuff here. And even candy-fied things that shouldn't be candy and vice versa. Here. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like marshmallows in our cereal. And, <laughs> and they're well, not even like real marshmallows. They're like, like sugar blocks. Yeah, it's kind of like space food. Like, Same, the first weird. thing me and Ronan did when we got here, we went to Walmart and <laughs> we went and bought Lucky Charms. And we were like, we are stereotypes. I never I never ate Lucky Charms. I, I ate never. one bowl of it and it hurt my insides, so I didn't eat any more of it. It's very hot. It was hard to come it up with a really video hot. idea. Yeah, also we spent like an hour looking for a place to film. We were getting chased by alligators and yeah. go-karts and birds. And birds. That's why we're sitting on the ground behind the spa of the hotel. Yeah, not and very relaxing. No, not at all. But we did it for you. Yeah, so this will turn out great. This is a good video. Be appreciative. Please say that. If you guys like this video, you can hit the like button down below. If you feel there's something we should have said or we probably missed, it would be deadly if you could leave a comment and we can have the chats about it and stuff. If you do want to see more of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more of her videos, I, I will annotate her face if you're on a computer. If you're not, you can find the link in the description below. And I will have her social media on the screen right now. Look at them, they're everywhere. No, they're not, they're very neatly organized right here. Oh. Yeah, thanks so much for collabing with me today. Thank you for collabing with oh, me. Oh, we're hugging, okay. Oh, that was too hot for that. Yeah, it's sweaty much. I think that's all for this video. Anything you wanna say? Um. No, okay. No. Hold on, you wanna hold for wind? No. Fuck the wind. No. <laughs> fuck the wind. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was gonna do like the YouTube thing, you know how everyone's just like oh, covers the camera, but then I got lazy like 50% of the way there. It's okay. Very disappointed in you.